It's the last 15 minutes. That's where I am in this book. The last 15 minutes of the movie where everything comes together. The roller coaster ride is about to end. Everything's going to work out. Hopefully. There's been so many, I wouldn't really call them twists and turns. I would call them more surprises than anything. Things I really didn't expect but should have expected in this book. I mean, look at it. I have only that much left to read. Can you see that? There, this is ridiculous for me to read this much. Whenever I started talking about this book, I don't know, what, it, two, three, four days ago, that's when I started reading this. For me to finish this book today is gonna be ridiculous. I almost don't wanna finish it. I almost just wanna leave it where it is and start it over so that I can still be surprised at the end. You tell me. Heads, I finish it. Tails, I read for 15 more minutes. Tails, 15 more minutes. If I don't finish it in 15 minutes, that's it. I'm done until maybe I have surgery and I take the time to reread it again. I used to be able to just go ahead and take the quarter and roll it and keep doing that. I was never very, very good at it. See what I mean? It reminds me of Lethal Weapon. I forget which lethal weapon, the one with the Cougarans, you know, those gold coins. That's what this reminds, ram, uh, reminds me of. I can't even speak. I need another cup of coffee. But this, to determine my fate of this book, if I can't finish it in 15 minutes, I should really stop. It's going to come down to the last page, and I'm probably going to finish it anyways. I'm super excited. I'm going to reread this book, most likely, because there's a lot of references in here to Japanese anime shows and stuff that I really don't, I never watched that stuff. So I want to look this stuff up so I have a visual, a better visual of what these things actually look like. And some of the games I never played. I mean, there were older Atari games that I never had access to, so I never played them. So I really want to find out. This book, I recommend reading it if you like 80s stuff at all. If you want to take just a trip back, a little trip of nostalgia back into your childhood, your teenage years, your 20s, whatever it was. I recommend it. And if you never lived in the 80s at all, and you're just curious about the fascination with the 80s that people have, read this book. It's going to be a movie soon. Read it before the movie. Because this is about the only time that I've ever been interested in a book enough to read it this much, this obsessively, and read it before a movie came out so I can actually see the movie after reading the book and compare it to the movie and be one of those people where like, oh man, the book was so much better. The movie didn't do it justice. So I know what they're actually talking about. So I know what they're talking about when I, I can't put this book down, it's so good. Or, oh, you know, I, I, I finally have an understanding. There's, what is it, empathy there where you put yourself in other people's shoes. I finally have an understanding of what people were talking about. I've never, ever in my life that I can remember have read a book where I couldn't put it down besides the monster at the end of the book with Grover. And now they have a sequel to that. I think it's called like another monster at the end of the book or something like that. I have both of them. I'm not, I, I do, I have both of them. I read them to my kids when they were little with the same affliction in my voice and stuff that my mom would read, you know? So, I'm going to read. Oh man. I got four and a half pages left. I mean, the end of a book, it just ended. It's just a little bit of wrap up left. So there's really not much left to the imagination. I'm just, I'm gonna finish it. I read with my glasses off. I don't need reading glasses yet. I know I've been talking about this book a lot, but you have to realize something. I don't read like this. And for me to, be lost in this book to enter this world and forget about everything else that's going on. Forget about the frustrations, the fear, the anxiety I have about my back surgery. Just to be able to forget about that. That means this is well worth it for me. My experience is gonna be different than your experience. I relate this to when my father was killed and I would go to the movies or I'd rent a movie or I'd buy a movie and I would just be lost in that movie for that hour and a half, two hours. I'd be immersed into that world. Everything else would fade away. Everything else would fade away. Everything else would fade away. And I would forget about the pain I was feeling. I would forget about the helplessness and how lost I felt. Everything, my world would just be gone. And I would enjoy that movie for that time period. And I'm not gonna say like it brought me happiness, but it just, it, it subsided everything that I was feeling just for that brief moment in time 
you know what I mean, until I could get over things. This book just did the same thing right now, and I was excited about it, and I definitely wanted to share it with you guys. Now, I just found out by reading the end of this book, so I got a later copy, that uh, he made another book. It's not a sequel, but I ordered it. I'm excited to read that. I am probably going to read it right away, but I really should wait until after I have surgery so I have something to do. Otherwise, you know, I'll reread it again. I realize this vlog hasn't been much of anything besides me talking to you, and I don't see a huge problem with that. My back is killing me, so I'm kind of waiting for the surgery if it means all of this is going to be over. So I'm not going out in the barn today to do any more cleaning. I'm waiting on t uh, tubes to come in for the tires for the mower. Those tires are tubeless, but the tubes cost less than... <sighs> I just ran up the stairs. <laughs> I'm out of breath. I'm out of shape. It's pathetic. But the tubes cost less than the tires. So I was thinking it's a lawnmower. Maybe I can get away with just putting tubes in there. I don't know if you're really supposed to do that. But I really don't care. I'm cheap. I'm frugal. This is what I'm going with. We'll see if it works. Learn from my experience, my mistakes, my successes, whatever you want to call it. Learn from it. And this came in the mail today. It was like 14 bucks on Amazon. 40 games, if not more. A lot of them would have cost me more than $14 to go ahead and buy for the Sega Genesis. So at the very least, my son and I can play that stuff. And I'm not sure the legality of showing video gameplay on YouTube, what it really involves. I have to look it up. I know like Minecraft I can show because they pretty much said do what you want with it. We're cool with it. So I'm going to play that and this evening, this late afternoon, whatever you want to call it, I've been reading to get that book finished because I wanted to get it done. So if you're still watching this vlog at this point in time, I applaud you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.